We have a welding cart frame. Now we need sheet metal and wheels. So if you're at the live stream the other day, uh, you missed some of this cardboard aided design. I want to build a grinder rack for this, uh, but I also need shelves and then wheels. So for the wheels, I have uh, four of these uh, that I stole. I think I stole these off of Ikea furniture that your parents gave us when we were in Boston. We were moving. We didn't need the furniture anymore. It was falling apart. It was oh, Ikea. Yeah, it was like an entertainment center. Yeah, Cheap something. One. It was falling apart. I stole the wheels, hucked the rest of it in the dumpster, and they've just been sitting in a bucket. So yeah. we're going to try using them for this. I don't know if they can handle a welding cart, but we shall find out together. We need to make sheet metal for this and sheet metal for these. My idea is to make this a little bit bigger and then weld it to the top of these. I did some trials trying to get the sheet metal, the thin sheet metal, onto this thick tubing. And uh, we're, we're going to give that a shot. I, I came up with settings and, and tests that seem to work. Okay, so this is going to go bye-bye for now. There, now that we're pointing the camera even more at the floor, let's get this out from under the car. Oh boy, that's dirty. Aluminum extrusions for future melting. Leaves, because no garage can be clean ever. It's the law. So here's the deal. This sheet is the same width as the opening in the welding cart, but it's not long enough. So somehow we're going to have to guesstimate what size to cut it out and then cut it out of this. I, I would recommend doing this. Guesstimate? Guesstimate. Just measure that, right? Eh. What? I'm going to put it here, cut it out something, cut out another one over there, and another one out the middle. Deal? You know you have a tape measure, right? Right there. Okay, so we need one 14 by 22, another one 14 by 22 oh, with three cutouts, and one 14 by 30. So, see any good movies lately? Star Wars. Oh, that's true. The Last Jedi that we watched together. Yeah, there were literally there was literally one other person in the whole theater. Yeah. One guy. You know, one of those super nerds who just lives at the theater. You see, this steel comes with a an oil coating, and it really really screws up sharpies. Now we're gonna cut the other two, and by we I mean you. You're going to measure up the next one. So how long do I let you struggle with that before I tell you it's screwed up? What? It's covered in welding spatter and full of casting sand. Oh, it's not even a straight line. I'm... It's straight enough. Also, I hope you were okay with those pants getting dirty. <gasps> Are they going to come off? Probably. Okay, so we cut the things out. And here they are. Here are two of them for the top pieces. Yep. We're going to do the bottom one first. And for this big piece, we got to cut out three corners. It doesn't fit. We failed. Oh, no. What are we to do? Good acting. So instead of doing this the smart way and just measuring... You're going to eyeball it? I'm going to... No, I'm going to, like, hold it up to where I want it to go uh -huh. and mark. Okay. Ooh, snips! Were you going to get rid of the oil before welding? You know, that's a really good idea. We probably should. Did you measure how deep we're going to cut? Of course not. We've been married how long? You don't know how I work? I think you used to plan better. Yeah, I used to not get anything done. That's true. Is that what you mean? So that this quality of yours is like, it could be seen as a vice, but I think it's more of a virtue. Now instead of careful planning, it's more like manic work. Oh, Two-handed technique, nice. Is that good enough? Hey, why don't you just let me do it? I don't want you hurting yourself. I'm not hurting. You can strain your hands too much. So I'd rather you not strain yourself and get hurt or something. Whereas I strain my hands all the time, so they're already hurt. Especially my hands. Like after that carpal tunnel surgery, that means my hands are invincible now, right? Is it though? Sure. Did they really say that there's no chance of it coming back? Oh no, there's a chance of it coming back. And the surgery to fix that is uh, pretty intense. Much more invasive. Let's see if it fits. It better fit. Good enough. Pretty much. 
Camera doesn't see there. It there. fits, sorta. Well, do you want to hammer down those edges or something? Yeah, eventually. Yeah, well, um, since since these are one inch tubes, but the panels are cut a little bit undersized, I just have to cut three quarter inch squares out of three of the corners, if that makes sense. Makes sense. Good, because it didn't make sense to me. Well, I didn't want to argue. I could make a marriage joke right there. What marriage joke? Nothing. I love you. Gonna widen these up. Those crummy weld, weld beads on some of them, they take up a lot of space. I know, I was just thinking that. We're not putting this in a competition, are we? Nope. Like everything that I make, I think if it doesn't burst into flames, it's a success. What do they say on roadkill? Lower, lower, lower the bar until you achieve a goal. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yay! Ta-da! Ta-da! It's coming together! The only slight issue is I think these sheets are too thin. So it's going to be a major test of our, our welding abilities. But you figured out the method! Yeah, eh, yeah. Eh. But if I need bracing underneath, I'll weld in bracing underneath. Okay, so here's the plan. Bead roller, which I had to do a lot of work to to make it work, even though it's brand new. Sort of. Uh, it is it is Chineseium though. So it's cheap? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is like the dirt cheapest bead roller you can get. Eh, it's not that sloppy, but it's... Ooh, that's... We'll have to live with that. It's fine. All right. I'm gonna put some beads in it. I did this test panel. I drew some lines, rolled some beads, and uh, put a little bit of warp into the panel, but that's fine. We're gonna hammer it flat and weld it in place anyway. And that makes it <laughs> much stiffer. Compare it's... with the flat sheet. Compare with... Okay. Why are you calling my bluff here? Oh, there, see? There. Uh, it's much easier with two people. Uh, that's partly why this one is so cheap. It also uh, doesn't have a stand, and it's not actually all that rigid, and you need two people to use it. Do you want to crank or hold? I'll try cranking. You'll try cranking. Okay, so pull that toward you, and go slowly, and I'm just going to guide it along. Am I going too fast? A little, yeah, go a little slower. Good, good. A little more. A little stop. And that is a bead. Yay! There are all kinds of modifications that people do to these bead rollers. If you have a Harbor Freight one, that's basically the same thing. I, I think it's probably made in the same factory. They just paint this one blue and stick an Eastwood sticker on it. I don't know what color the Harbor Freight one is, but it's, it looks identical. Same for the Woodward Fab one. Ew, this, this is oily. But see, there's a bead. How do you do this all by yourself? Talent. Also, if you're using a two-person tool as one person, there's a secret to making it work. Oh. Lower your expectations. <laughs> you're just going to be like, well, this is not going to be perfect. Yep, accept failure, and it's <laughs> much easier. And see, it's a little bit warped now, yeah. and here's how we fix that. There's, oh, that looks terrible. There, that's slightly better. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> sad, y yay! Long one! Ready and go! Go! See, if you say it like that, I feel like it's a race. Go faster! <laughs> Ready and go slowly! <laughs> slowly! Slower! Keep going slowly! Slower. Do slow! Slower. And stop. So am I like your assistant or like, um... I believe the technical term is spouse. You are whatever title it is that doesn't pay. Intern. <laughs> You know there's a tool that you can clamp onto this that provides like a guide mm -hmm. to make it go perfectly straight much easier. Mm -hmm. But it's really simple and they want money for it, so I didn't buy it. You sweating? Was it a good exercise? Well, it, it does. Work those lever cranking muscles that no one ever works out. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like. I want the beads pointing down, right? Yep. You know what's really lucky? What? These have to go on a certain way because of the asymmetry. And they actually, oh. they actually happen to be right. Wow. There's luck. There. This will be welded down. And then like that. Yep. All you have to do is flatten these. Flatten them. Well, we'll clamp them when we, we'll clamp them down and weld them in place and that'll flatten them. Cool, huh? Just that little bead made it look so much less crummy. You know, instead of flimsy sheets, now they're warped but not so flimsy. It's slightly improved. Kinda crooked there. You making fun of my beads? What? I'm looking 
looking down at it and like there's a kink here. Yeah, I, I told you. When you're doing it yourself, accept more failure. Okay, now we gotta clean stuff up and break out the welder, I think. Okay, so off camera, I, uh, I, we bead rolled these, that was on camera, and then I, I used my drum sander thing to give this kind of brushed appearance. I'll bring that in closer. Ooh. Doesn't it look fancy? Okay. Yeah, don't, don't look too hard, you'll see how crooked they are, I was doing it freehand. <laughs> so now, the tricky part is attaching this thin steel to this thick tubing. And we've been playing around, I, I found some settings, I wrote down the settings, and we, we developed kind of a system. And uh, these, these ones she did, and then this is one of them I did. Uh, so we're gonna start, but we're gonna skip. So we're just gonna do like an inch on the corners, and then we're gonna hit, you know, in the middle, and then maybe in the middle of that. So we'll just have a few single inches of weld instead of a super long bead. What is that technique called? Skip welding. Skip welding. According to Google. Yep. And I can say it with confidence because Google makes me appear smarter than I am. We're going to kind of start, I have these settings, we start on the thick tubing, get the puddle going, and then just kind of loop into the, the thin stuff. Loop and then forward, loop into the thin, loop into the thin. It's because we want the puddle to melt into this, but not blow a hole through this. We barely practiced, so, barely. so let's, let's get started. I went from really crappy to a little less crappy. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we can ground the crappy away. All right, we're going to try to keep the clamps close to what we're doing, and I don't have that many clamps, so we're going to have to move them a lot. So, hopefully this works. That didn't feel right. That didn't feel the same at all. What gives? Oh, the wire speed was a little lower than it was. You know, I like your plan of grinding them down when we're done. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. Higher, higher wire speed. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no! Um, fire! Do we have a fire extinguisher? Mm, of course not. <laughs> you didn't hear that pop when you started doing it? <laughs> eh, it was just oil soaked rags, it's fine. But the weld looks great. <laughs> okay, here's what you get when you don't check your settings are exactly what you want at first. And afterwards, they don't look quite so terrible. Still not very great, they're only barely touching the sheet. But that's all I need to melt into the sheet. Come on camera, quit freaking out. There's only a little fire, and now, now it's out. Fire's out, we're, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> we need a fire extinguisher. This is really not, not a good idea. I had a fire extinguisher, I turned it into a crucible. You know, I think I know why those caught fire. Why? It was full of paper towels soaked in acetone. You didn't hear the poof? Oh, I heard the poof and felt the really warm fire, yeah. <laughs> I kept going, and then I checked to see what was going on. It's called focus. I was committed to what I was doing. Yeah. Well, next time, maybe you should make sure there's nothing flammable around where you're welding. Or I could or just be a man. Or get a TIG welder. I could die like real men. What was that? What did you just say? Get a TIG welder. Because I really don't like seeing all these sparks flying. Can you say that again closer to this microphone? We need to get a TIG welder. And a plan to reduce the oil canning. Did you say the oil canning? Yeah, see this flexing? Uh -huh. In sheet metal, that's called oil can. I have no idea why, but it's when you have a sheet and it goes thunk, 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 but it won't stay in the middle. Oil can. This. That's oil canning. It's huh. because of these beads. I didn't pre-stretch the material and some other stuff that I don't understand fully, and that's why it does that. No, it's funny. When I'm watching you weld, the sparks fly so far, I get scared that it's going to land on me and catch me on fire. Look, it's not going to start two fires in the same garage. That's not how sparks work. But when I... Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Point, except when it my... does. There, so I'm just spacing them every three inches. Oh, that looks so ugly. Nothing you make could be ugly. Look at our children. Aww. Well, that's because of your genes. Nope. So. Yeah, right. Okay, people, you're watching. Look at her. Then then remember what I look like. Which one is the good-looking one? It's not the beardy man, that's for sure. Not me. That looks really good to me. Practice makes perfect. I had a violin teacher once who said practice makes permanent. So if you oh, really? suck at practicing, you're going to permanently suck at what you're practicing. 
Whatever you practice becomes permanent. Except we're going to have to do a cut to, to the future because the battery's dying. Aww. So say, say see you later to the camera. Okay, and here it is. It's the next day. Uh, I welded this second shelf on because it was kind of, when I was up on the bench it was too high so she couldn't get in a yeah. comfortable position. I was too short. And then I ground down the welds so they Hello. look, they look kind of no, better now. I can't see our crappy job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I did the wheels. These are, these are caster wheels. They had like a little metal plate with like four holes for wood screws. Well, this isn't wood. I stole them out of Ikea furniture. So I just filled the holes in with weld, like plug welds. And two of them lock, which is pretty nice because it rolls super easy now. The first thing I did was try rolling right into my car. Because for some reason, this floor is really, really not flat. Yeah, oh, I put the cart there and it's just like, whoosh, you're like, nope, 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 stop it. And, uh, and this that I was mentioning, I cut the two half moons out of. Not all that exciting, but that's why it's not on camera. All right, to the welder. Okay, two more welds, kind of. Now, all we have to do is pick it up and put the stuff on it. Yay! Let's take off our junk. Oh, it's probably hot. Oh yeah, it's toasty warm. That's toasty warm. <laughs> So there's room on here for two tanks. And we have these. We got some straps. They're a little bit too long, but that's fine. Fine. And actually this design kind of helps if there are two tanks to, to keep this straight. Mm -hmm. And then another one on the bottom, I assume? Yep. And this is pretty stable, I think, now. Yeah, that's really stuck on there. You sounded... <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a funny noise you made just now. What? What's that? Laughing at my pain? <laughs> For now, I'm just gonna kind of take it and set it under here. I've seen a bunch of different designs have different ways of handling all of these things coming out to like roll them up nice and cleanly. And we'll get to that, maybe. Eventually. Eventually, if this doesn't work. You're gonna hang the helmet on there. We can hang the other helmet on there. Power cord, which comes out the back. Another thing I'll just send under there. Ta -da. Now we should do cable management here. We can just wrap the things underneath it. Also, angle grinder wheels. Thing going here. Idea for the future for version 1.1. Have a couple of posts sticking out, you know, and then we can hang like flap discs and grinding discs and cutting discs on it. You know, just a thought. I think that's about everything. So far. But there we go. Our first welding project. First welding project. A welder cart. A welder cart for the welder. Not bad.